guys! So today I'm doing another q and I asked you guys probably last week sometime to send me some Snapchat questions, so I'm going to try and go through as many as I can. There's like 50 of them. Um, so basically, this time I asked you guys to ask me questions that were more so like questions that you weren't sure if it was like a myth or questions that you're always afraid to ask like fitness related and then I said you guys could send whatever else you wanted but that's kind of what I wanted the theme of this video to be because I see a lot of the questions on my videos and I tend not to answer them so I thought we would actually do it for once. So the first one is from Taya Gelchu and they said can you gain muscle and lose fat at the same time? So this is like one of the most frequently asked questions from just about everyone and I only know the answer to this because of watching YouTube videos and kind of doing my own research. And if you're a beginner, you can just because your body isn't used to the amount of energy that you're going to be expending on a daily basis or whenever it is that you go to the gym. So as a beginner, I would say, yes, it is possible to gain muscle and lose fat, but you could probably do that for like a month and then it's gonna kind of flatline and you're not gonna be able to do that anymore. So. In general, I would say no, unless you just started. We have a question from Aaliyah.Bay9, and they said, is it true you'll lose your butt and boobs by doing track and field? Okay, so I feel like this goes with like basically any sport or any form of exercise. People think that you're going to like lose all of the fat on your body <laughs> for some reason, and the first thing, especially with track and field, is it's going to depend on what you're doing. So long distance, you're probably going to be burning more fat than gaining muscle during that process. I've never done track, so I don't really know what you guys are doing. But if you're doing like any of the jumping forms, I can't remember what it's called, or if you're doing sprints, that's gonna be more so you building a lot of muscle because you're putting a lot of pressure on your body. But either way, you don't really know where you would lose fat. You can't spot reduce and you also don't know where the fat is gonna come off on your body. That's all just down to genetics. I would, I would say no. I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but that's not something you should really worry about. We have a question from lady underscore Elise and they said, hey Lauren, I have a question. If I do a variety of glute workouts three times a week and repeat the workouts four times a day and drink the apple cider vinegar, how long will it take to see results on my glutes and losing weight? Okay, well, if you're trying to build muscle, like I said earlier in the video, you can't also lose weight. Um, so you just have to pick whether or not you want to build muscle or you want to lose weight. The rule of thumb that most people usually give is if you can see your abs, gain weight. If you can't see your abs, which most people can't, um, lose weight first and then build muscle because you'll probably remain more comfortable with your body for a longer period of time, especially if you're not someone who has ever been really, really thin, so it might be harder for you to put on weight and be okay with how you look. Myself, for instance, I want to gain all of the weight, so that wasn't really an issue for me. Um, so apple cider vinegar, I'm not even sure how that's relevant. That's not like a building muscle type of thing, but it's going to depend on everyone. So I can't really answer that question. It's very different for each person and you can follow someone's workouts to a T, but it won't really matter like the time frame that they saw their glutes grow in because you're not them. So just keep doing what you're doing. If it's not if you're not seeing any results, then change it. That's my biggest tip. Like if you aren't seeing results within a normal time frame, which I mean like half a year at least, then switch stuff up. And remember that you can't do the same workouts um, like every single week for a really long time. We've got a question from um, Abby Cartwright. They said, is it true that if you don't eat within 30 minutes of lifting that your muscle gains will be prevented? No. If you, you could go hours without eating. It doesn't matter. It's calories in versus calories out. Same thing with the whole like protein window. That's not a thing. Um, and is it true that you should avoid fats post-workout? No, it's not true. Most people say that you should actually avoid them before you work out 
Now, I don't know how true that is. I'm sure there's some science behind it, but it's gonna depend on each person. Like for myself, I just perform better with a higher fat diet in general and lower carbs. So for me, I will have fats before my workout and I'm not affected, but for you, you might. So I wouldn't worry too much about all these little rules that there are in the fitness world that don't actually exist. Kalia Park said, how do I gain muscle in my thighs rather than your quads? Well, your thighs are your quads, so. Maya.Gaston said, when did you realize you wanna change your body and why? And you're really an inspiration to me and why I started working out doing some of the things you do. I love when you guys say that. I think that's so sweet. And I'm also very confused because I, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like I can't have that effect on people, but it makes me really happy. Um, I, okay, so a little background. I've never really had an issue with how I've looked. If you guys have seen my how to gain weight video, I talked about like skinny shaming and stuff like that. It didn't personally affect me because I didn't care. I liked how I looked. People would compliment me all the time on how long my legs are and how thin I was. And they'd be like, oh my God, do you even eat? Are you anorexic? And I was just kind of like, no, and yes, I do eat. So it was just never something that affected me. Um, I just thought it was funny that people thought that was an okay question to ask because it's just not. Um, but one day I was on YouTube. This is when I had my makeup channel. So I started watching like little fitnessy videos here and there and I started following some people on Instagram and I found Nikki Blackader and I just thought she looked amazing. That was the first female that I ever saw that didn't look like your typical like physique bodybuilder. And she was doing bikini competitions. So I started wa watching her and I started doing some of her exercises that she would post on her channel. And yeah, I just really got into lifting. I remember when I first started, I couldn't even lift like a 2.5 dumbbell because I was so weak. And now I can like rep out 20s. So it's like everyone starts somewhere. I was inspired by YouTubers, just like a lot of you are inspired by me. So yeah, basically YouTube. Sherry Alexis said, I don't even know what that is. I just started the ketogenic diet for weight loss. Since I am limiting carbs so much, I find myself eating food high in fat. Does eating fat make you gain weight? Is it better to limit carbs or limit fat for weight loss? Okay, so I would say that you should do your research on macros. I have a video and at the very beginning, I explain what your macronutrients are. They're the breakdown of your calories. So go ahead and check out that video so you fully understand. Um, I also don't recommend doing diets really. I don't think of if it fits your macros as a diet. Some people may, but I think it's more of a lifestyle. So I would try and make a lifestyle change instead of just doing a diet. I'm not even sure what that diet is. If it's working for you, then go for it if you enjoy it. Um, but I don't like that you're saying that you're limiting stuff because that doesn't really sound like a good start. If you're trying to lose weight, focus on your caloric intake. You need to be in a deficit. So you need to be at least, I would say, five, at least 450 to 500 calories under your maintenance calories. And then from there, you can eat whatever you want. I would recommend eating more nutrient dense foods because the calories for that are gonna feel a little different than the calories in cookies. And what I mean by that is that if you have four cookies that are the same amount of calories as a steak and rice, now that's not really a good comparison because I don't know what cookies you're eating if that's the same calories, but you guys know what I mean. That's gonna be more filling than your cookies. So it's more like what is gonna make you feel better, what's gonna fill you up, what is a better way to divide up your calories. So I would focus more on your calories and the foods that you like to eat than limiting yourself because it's not really necessary to limit yourself. That's why like macros, you can easily fit in whatever you want. So educate yourself a bit on macros. Remember that you don't need to limit yourself. Um, and just make sure that you're lowering your calories over time so that you don't stall. And if you do begin stalling, up your calories for a week or two and then drop them again. We have a question from uh, Javaya and they said, do you have to have protein after every workout? I don't. Um, it's not really a thing. I don't know why that started. 
I'm sure there's some type of research behind how having protein shortly after your workout could help with the process, but I'm just very much a strong believer of like just it's just calories so it doesn't really matter when you have your protein I just think you should hit a daily protein intake goal every single day we have a question from miss uh, Brian <coughs> miss Brian Brian 1990 they said how much weight did you gain so far I started I believe at 112 and now I am 128 the highest I've been is 128 so about I don't know I've gone up and down like I did a mini cut but I would say probably I've gained 20 pounds maybe like my weight fluctuates which is perfectly normal um so at some point I'm sure I was around like 130 132 do you have a boyfriend no no I don't Cheyenne said can you make an informative video about protein shakes there's not really much to inform you about you need protein to build muscle. If you like protein shakes, then you can drink them. You don't need protein shakes because you can get your protein in your diet. So just do whatever you want to do. Amari.Davis said, which is more important to you in your routine? Pre-workout, BCAAs, or protein? I don't use any of those. Um, I don't use pre-workout. I drink a monster. Because pre-workout makes me really, really jittery and I crash. I don't use BCAAs because they're expensive and... Um, I personally didn't see much of a difference when I used them, and protein I get from my diet. Natasha underscore, underscore K58, is it possible to work out and see progress without taking any supplements like protein, creatine, etc.? Yes, they're called supplements for a reason. They're supposed to supplement what you are already doing. And just keep in mind that if your training and nutrition is not 100% on point, then supplements are going to do absolutely nothing for you. So the only supplements that I really recommend to anyone are creatine because it helps with the building muscle process and there's so much research backed behind it. It's also really, really cheap. Um, I recommend getting creatine that has very minimal ingredients. Like if you could just get creatine monohydrate with like maybe one other thing to like preserve the actual creatine, I'd go for it. Don't get any creatine that has like 50 other things listed on it because you don't need it and you're just spending way too much on stuff that you don't even need. Um, and then protein powder, if you can't get protein from enough protein from your diet. Um, and then like aminos, BCAAs, uh, pre-workout, glutamine, all that stuff, it's not necessary. You can definitely take it and it's gonna help. It's a supplement, but you don't need any supplements. When Jetshi, I'm gonna butcher your name, Kiriwa, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but. Thank you for your question. Um, hi Lauren, I was wondering how do I go about starting to eat clean? I've been trying the diets but I gained the weight faster than I dropped it. Exactly, that's why diets aren't good. Um, also I'm always tired, I don't know if that's because of the weight or something else. <coughs> I don't know why I'm coughing so much, I'm not even sick. Would really appreciate your advice. Okay, so yeah, yo-yo dieting, that's why your weight's probably going like crazy. People who do diets tend to have a really hard time staying at the proper weight because they don't know anything about nutrition. They're just like doing meal plans and then doing the exercises that go along with it or they're just restricting themselves. So then when they actually eat food like a normal person again, they gain all the weight back. So I don't recommend diets. I don't think they work. I think they're absolute nonsense. Um, so if you're trying to start eating clean, I mean, it's not really necessary to eat clean to see results. Um, I don't eat that clean. Like, I'm a, I'm a pescatarian, so the majority of my diet happens to be vegetables, but I also have, like, chips and cookies and everything. So, I guess if you're trying to make a change, do it gradually. So start cutting out stuff that doesn't make you feel good and that's taking up a lot of your calories for the day. Because if you're having ice cream, and, um ice cream basically has nothing in it that is going to benefit you during working out and you feel really really tired and all you had was ice cream chips a bagel and vegetables like if that's like your diet for the day cut out the ice cream <laughs> you can bring it back in later if you want or you can get a healthier option of ice cream like skinny cow or something like that but just look at your diet as a whole 
and figure out like what you think is unhealthy, cut it out, see if you feel better. If nothing changed, you can throw it back in, cut something else out, see if you feel better. And then you can slowly bring them back in and just lower the intake. I don't think that you should ever like restrict yourself from eating anything. I think you just need to lower the amount of um, foods that you're eating. So find what makes you feel good. If you feel really tired, it's because of your diet or you're not getting enough sleep. Austin said, what's your favorite grip for deadlifts? Well, I just started, but I'm very into the um, overhand, underhand grip. Sincerely, underscore tree, I think. Question for Q&A, for someone going through a weight gain journey, what are your opinions on waist trainers? Oh my God. When I see someone with a waist trainer on, on Instagram, you best believe the first thing that I do is report the photo. Waist trainers, the reason why your waist is getting smaller is because the organs in your body are being crushed together. And if you guys just look up online any doctor's articles, photos on waist trainers, you will see the destruction that's happening to your body. And I used to be a huge fan of Kardashians, never had a like huge problem with the family until they started promoting the fit tees the detox teas and the waist trainers because we all know that their bodies look like that either from a mix of genetics and um, getting work done or genetics and Photoshop. So no hate on the Kardashians. I don't really have an issue with them besides their social media pages. Um, they're bullshit. Uh, waist trainers, aren't doing anything but hurting you and your waist size is genetics. You cannot change it. So that's how you should know that you shouldn't be using a waist trainer because you can only get your waist to a certain size, which is going to be its genetic potential and it's going to stop. We have a question from OO Moo Zero and they said, hi, I want to ask how many times you work out a week is one day each week. Is it one day each week because I'm skinny as you are before? Please answer me. No, I work out five days a week. Winnie Amu says, hey, I'm from Kenya. That's crazy. Um, what motivates you? Myself, which I think is interesting considering a lot of people ask, like, how do I stay motivated? And it really just comes down to yourself. And the second that you start seeing progress, I think that should be your motivation. So I've never had an issue with motivation because I stuck to what I was doing because I really wanted to gain weight. So I just kind of became my own motivation. And I think looking at other people is great motivation as well, but not the driving motivation of why you're doing what you're doing. I think it's great to be motivated by like people when you see like a video on Instagram of someone squatting and you're like, oh my God, I want to push that weight someday. So you work harder to work, do you hear Bella? <laughs> so you work harder towards that goal every single day, but, oh my God. <laughs> I've never heard her that loud when she's dreaming. Kaja Love said, how did you put on so much weight? I'm so skinny and it's annoying. <laughs> I want to be like you by putting myself in a caloric surplus. Jazz underscore R27 said, what recommendations do you have for a vegan? In terms of diet, like to be able to see visible abs, I find it hard to know what's healthy and will shed fat for abs to be seen when vegan. Okay, so if you want to see your abs, you have to drop your calories until you see them. That's why, like, I think the idea of people wanting abs is almost kind of unhealthy because you have to get to like a very, very low body percentage for most people to see your abs and then you have to maintain that. We've got a question from Caroline and they said, what's your holy grail makeup brand? I've been having some issues with some of these makeup brands, like their social media pages and some of their uh, people working for them. Like the new cover boy. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? I'm cringing. So I would honestly probably say Elf. Like they're cruelty free. They're great. I love them. It's wonderful. That's going to be it for this q and Hope you guys enjoyed hearing Bella. Whatever that was. I don't even know what it's called when dogs are dreaming, but I think it's so cute. Give this a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Um, I kind of made it long because I wanted to answer as many questions as I could, so I hope that's okay with you guys. 
We're so close to 75,000 subscribers. I'm literally screaming. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stop talking now. I love you.